Tyler here with TT Productions, and today I am going to be reviewing the Sigma 16mm f1.4 DC DN lens for Sony APS-C cameras. This can also be used on the Sony full frame cameras like the AS7 III or the AS7 II, however it automatically goes into crop mode. One other thing to note, the 16mm on a crop sensor actually gives you the equivalent focal length of 24 millimeters on a full frame sensor. So still a perfectly wide field of view, but just wanted to make sure everyone was aware of that. The nice thing about the 16 millimeter is I can actually have my camera mounted on my gimbal right now and be filming myself no problem and not have to extend my arm fully. I have the setup is a little heavy, the lens is probably about a pound. It is it is beefy. It's a good build. I really can't do that with the Sigma 30 millimeter. I, I guess I kind of can, but it's really hit or miss of whether or not I'm in frame or if I'm in focus. Just because you know you're you're that much closer. One other thing I wanted to mention was I may or may not have just ordered the Sony A6400 mirrorless camera. I got the Sony A6500, but I don't know. Call me crazy, started burping. Where was I? Yes, yeah, so I placed an order for the Sony A6400 mirrorless camera. I've got the Sony A6300 and the Sony A6500. Sony A6400, I believe, is replacing the A6300. It's got some awesome, awesome features that are a step up from the A6500, but it has some other things or rather it is missing some things that the A6500 has that it does not have. But it will make a great B cam and then the A6300 can be my C cam so I can run three camera, multi-camera angle setups like dope dialogue scenes. Yeah, looking forward to that. So if you haven't subscribed already, please smash that button. That way you're sure to catch that A6400 too. Not sure if you noticed, but I am having to switch arms quite frequently. This is a heavy setup. Uh, but it's well worth it because it looks dope as shit. That pretty much sums up the intro. So without further ado, I'm going to head out here, get some 4K 24p footage, some 1080p footage in both 24 frames and 120 frames so I can slow it down. And then I will also get some photos at my photography game. It's okay. It's not great. It's nothing to brag about, but it's proficient. So I will do my best on the photos just because I know yeah, this is a great uh, lens, not just for videography, but also in filmmaking, but also for photography. So I will try and get some samples of images for you guys out there that are looking to purchase this for photography reasons. Without further ado, let's get cooking.
4K auto focus. Let's see how good we do. Surprisingly uh, out of breath from the few jumps I did off the cliff for the autofocus test. Pretty sure I got uh, everything I need, so let's see what for footage we got. So what do I think of the Sigma 16 millimeter F1.4 DC DN lens? Good question. Well, I thought I could not love Sigma anymore. I've got the Sigma 30 millimeter f1.4 and the Sigma 56 millimeter f1.4. Let me tell you, I was sadly mistaken in that assumption because I absolutely love the Sigma 16 millimeter lens. It's perfect for those wide angle shots. If you're into astrophotography, mm, that would really work. Uh, obviously, any of the footage you just viewed that I made, yeah, you can create videos, movies, Basically, whatever you want with this lens. I really like the autofocus. Super fast, maybe not mm, quite as fast as like a Sony native lens, but for a third party, this thing is quick. I did have one slight issue with the focusing, or the autofocus rather, when I was shooting in 4K, 24 frames per second. For some reason, things like maybe like a pea-sized object, uh, you know, if it's real tiny, part of the composition, I could not get it to lock on that without using the select focus. Um, it just wouldn't work with the autofocus. I had to select a spot on the screen on the A6500 and then half press my shutter to get it to lock on. Uh, I'm sure with just some more practice and whatnot, it, it would be easier. But as you can see in the one and clip with a leaf or something a little bit larger, no issues whatsoever locking in the focus. And with that really fast aperture, if you can keep it wide open like I did, and for video, you're gonna have to use a variable ND filter on your camera so that you can keep it at the correct shutter speed and frame rate. You always wanna use the 180 degree rule, so keep that in mind. If you're shooting at 24 frames per second, your shutter speed should be 1 50th of a second. And if you're shooting at 120 frames per second, you should be shooting at 1 2 50th of a second shutter speed. We got fast autofocus. The thing is built like a brick shed house. Really, when you take it out of the box, you're like, okay, I could bludgeon somebody to death with this lens and it would still be in one piece afterwards. That's a well beat, Freudian flip, well built piece of machinery. Now, the downside to that is if you're vlogging, or as I mentioned earlier in the intro, when you throw this thing on a gimbal, and I had my Rode Pro Mic Plus, or Rode Pro Plus Mic, Rode Pro Plus Mic, on as well. So I got the camera, the Sigma 16, and the Rode Mic Pro Plus. And it was pretty beefy. It was a heavy, heavy setup. As you can see, I'm pretty jacked. And even my arms got tired, you know, after like five minutes of, of holding it out, you know, almost at full arm's length. So that is a bit of a downside, but totally worth it. Again, the 56 millimeter Sigma, you definitely can't vlog on that holding it out in front of you. The 30 millimeter, you can, but it's just not real practical. The 16 millimeter, that's your vlog lens. That's what you want to use. If you're trying to hold it out, 
you're gonna get a nice profile of you, and then you got that sweet bokeh in the background, which always looks professional and super sharp. Really, what else do you want? It's a great, great lens. In hindsight, I did not check out the manual focus. It is uh, an electronic focus, manual focus ring. The 30 and the 56 are super smooth. I spun the one on the 16. It spins smoothly, it feels great, but honestly, do a lot of video work, so I'm just shooting really in, in autofocus, continuous, all the time. As you can clearly see, it is tack sharp, especially in 4K, almost too good, to the point that you can see all like the blackheads and pores and just general defects Defections? What are those things called? Blemishes. You can see blemishes. Man, uh, maybe that's not right. It's not blemishes. Defects. Imperfections, that's it. You can see every imperfection on my face, nose, ears, mouth, mustache, eyes, all of it. So that's good and bad to having a really good lens and shooting in 4K. Just to put a bow on this whole thing, guys, I absolutely stand behind and recommend the Sigma 16 millimeter f1.4 DC DM lens. You cannot go wrong with it. Video, photography work, your professional filmmaker, do it. Get the lens. It is superb on the Sony APS-C lineup. Also, <clears throat> What the heck is in my throat? I got a frog! <sighs> train of thought. Where did you go? Train of thought. Train of thought. Yes, if you do not have a Sony APS-C camera, you can still use it on the Sony full frame cameras. It's gonna automatically go into crop mode if you have an A7 or A9. And you could also get it for your Canon and Nikon and Fuji cameras. I guess you just have to buy, you know, the, the specific adapter mount that allows you to mount this Sigma lens to your other manufacturer's camera. Last time I'm saying it, then I'm done, but I am super excited. The Sony A6400 is on order. It hasn't been released yet. I believe it comes out like February 26th or 28th, somewhere right around the end of the month. b and isn't far. You're right there in New York. It's a one day shipment. So I should have that puppy at the beginning of March, at which point I will promptly make a review for it. So if you enjoyed this content, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe and ring that bell so you're sure to get all the notifications whenever I post something new. I don't know what else there is to say. Buy the Sigma 16. You will not regret it. Until next time, keep on keeping on.